Right, so this video is meant to just kind of show the setup of what I'm doing and what I'm seeing per the question that I posted to the physics subreddit as well as the physics stack exchange. So the initial setup on my <laughs> Lego optics table is a laser which the light is going to pass through a polarizer angled at 45 degrees which will then go through to a little holder where I'll be putting um, a couple diaphragms with double slits and that's going to go about you know, 15 feet down the hall to a piece of paper where I will take a look at the interference pattern. Um, so the initial setup or just initially I'm going to be looking at just a regular old double slit so I got here the diaphragm the two slits I'm going to put my holder <clears throat> please forgive the awful camera work as I'm trying to hold the camera and do stuff at the same time Okay, so we got the laser going through the 45 degree angled polarizer, hitting the double slits, and going down the hall to where you can see the interference pattern. Okay, nothing new, everything standard. All right. So I'm going to take this diaphragm out, and replace it, turn the lights on, with this diaphragm. Now, this one has the double slits, but on the opposite side, I painstakingly put two polarizing filters. One that is polarizing in the vertical direction, one that's polarizing in a horizontal direction, one in front of um, each slit. So one slit has the horizontal, one slit has the vertical, which should give me which way information about the light, at which point I should lose the interference pattern on the wall rather the paper at the end of the hallway. So, turn off all the lights come over here you can see I lose the interference pattern at this point just get more of a smudge there in the middle all right but if I then take another 45 degree polarizer and put it in front of, or rather behind, the double slit. Take it back over to the wall. It's much easier to see at night. Come back over here and I get the interference pattern back. If 
Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Okay. In fact, let me just set this down on the ground. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So to my knowledge, what's happening, the light coming from the laser gets polarized to 45 degrees, which then hits the two slits. Light going through one of the slits gets polarized vertically. Light going through the other slit gets polarized horizontally, which then gives us which way information. Then both those sources of light hit the 45 degree erasing polarizer, which makes us lose the which way data, turning the light back into a wave and causing it to interfere with itself on its journey to this piece of paper on the back wall, at which point we get the interference pattern. What I don't understand is when I bring the erasing polarizer all the way to the wall and change which 45 degree angle it is, I'm getting different wave patterns that seem to be perfectly out of phase. So I will try and demonstrate that now. All right. So I took away my erasing polarizer, All right. getting rid of the interference pattern. Now, if I put the polarizer at 45 degrees. Right. I come back and I get the wave pattern. Now that doesn't seem to matter at which distance as long as between the slits and the back wall there is the 45 degree polarizer and it doesn't really seem to matter the angle of this polarizer. Right? If I turn it, the waves are still in the same exact spot. When I say the waves, I mean the, uh, the light and dark spots are in the exact same spot. Now what I find weird is if I take this 45 degree polarizer and I turn it around, so now it's still 45 degrees, but it's just 45 degrees in the other direction, right? I still get the wave pattern, but the wave pattern is completely out of phase from the previous one, where there used to be dark spots, now they're light spots, and where there used to be light spots, they're now dark spots. And you can kind of see this if I take the polarizer and I rotate it. Um, let's see how I'm going to film this. really hoping you can see all this. Okay, so no polarizer. We lose the wave pattern. All right, when I bring the polarizer up, I'm not sure you can see that. I'll try from this angle. Okay, when I bring the polarizer back up, you get the wave pattern. If I bring it this way, not at 45 degrees, at Think either horizontal or vertical, you lose the wave pattern. But if I tilt it back at 45 the other way, it comes back. But if I rotate it back and forth, and you keep a close eye on what used to be a dark spot, as I turn it, it now becomes a light spot in an interference pattern. If I turn it back the other way, that light spot and dark spot have now switched, so we get an interference pattern, but it seems to be completely out of phase with the other 45 degrees.
All right. So that's the part that I'm not understanding. All right. And again, this can be close, it can be far, as long as it stays the same 45 degree angle. It doesn't matter if it's swiveled. Distance doesn't matter. But if I flip the angle, the 45 degree angle at which we are losing the which way data, again, it doesn't matter the distance, it doesn't matter the swivel, spots are in the same, or the pattern is in the same place. Only when I change which 45 degree angle it's on. So that's the part that's confusing me because to my understanding, when you lose which way data, you get the interference pattern back. But unless this is the, the part that I'm missing, my understanding is that the interference pattern theoretically would start at the two slits where the waves come out and interfere with itself all along this distance, then hitting the back wall. So the part that I'm confused about is why does positive or negative 45 degree angle from 90 make a difference as to the shift of the wave pattern? Okay, so after watching the video, I realized that it was kind of hard to see the shifting of the interference pattern, so I thought I'd try again to get the camera a little closer. So, right now I have it set up with the laser shooting through the double slits that have the vertical and horizontal polarizer, causing us to lose the wave pattern on the back wall. But when I put the 45 degree polarizer in between the back wall and the slits, I get the wave pattern back. Now, if I turn the 45 degree polarizer so that it becomes a vertical polarizer, I lose the interference pattern. But if I keep turning it so that it's 45 degrees the other way, the pattern comes back. However, it's shifted. So let me just kind of rotate front and back. and Hopefully you'll be able to see that a little better the second time around. It's definitely much easier to see in person than on camera. And it's also daytime right now, so it's a lot brighter in here than when I normally do this. So try and focus on a spot that's dark right now and as I rotate it you'll see that that spot becomes light and the two spots next to it become dark. And this is happening because I'm rotating which 45 degree angle I'm erasing the which way data. The other thing I realized watching the initial video is my breathing is out of control. You should probably go see a doctor.